hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial we're looking at the every higher order function so what it does is it checks to make sure all the items inside the array pass the set conditions we are going to demonstrate with this array of our country objects what we can say is let y be equal to countries sorry country dot every so let me change this y to has conditions so what I'm going to say is I'm going to reference each country inside or each item inside this particular array so if you return to us whether or not the country dot name includes the letter a so we are just going to get this and add it to this over here so when we run it because each of the countries has the letter a in it we get a true so let's change it to z over here it's only tanzania that has the letter z so this is a very simple demonstration of the every high order function you can do same with numbers as well so let's duplicate this and change a few things so let's assume this like let's see a price or something of an item is greater than 100 so let me duplicate this as well. So we have we get a difference. For the string we get false because Z is not there. Let's change this back to A. So we get true on both because for the hash numbers, all the country codes are greater than hundred. So if let's say we change it to two hundred and um Let's make let's make it two three three. We get false. So basically, it's just a, a it returns a boolean of true or false. So this how, how it is when we change this to sum, we, we will get true. But in this case, we are working with the every higher order function. So this is a very simple demonstration of the usage of the every higher order function. It's not limited to this particular example though. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment, like and share. See you next time.